There we are. Let's analyze both teams' uh, lineups. Looks like we've got NEU first on defense, playing with an Omen, uh, Rays, Killjoy, Breach, and Sova. And our very own home team playing with the Breach, Omen. Uh, let's see. Cypher, Jet End, so. Alright. Looks like BU is going to be taking A here. Got two players up in main and three players looking to take mid. Whereas uh, NEU is looking to stack B. Killjoy's put up a turret as BU stomps up to camp. Gets contact and decides to go into the site. NEU swiftly making their way back to the A site as BU gets the bomb down. Spike planted. Gabe here looking for a lurk. Does not get it. Now it's 4v4 with NEU coming into the site. Two tree. Went up heaven. Our cypher's flashed. Can he get the kill? No, he cannot. And NEU takes the site. Only losing one player in the process. What a swift retake coming out from NEU. As soon as they got that one pick off the Killjoy, they were all ready there and in position to retake the site quickly. Very interesting to see how quickly NEU was uh, able to uh, rotate back to A after stacking B there. And it seems to have paid off quite well for them. Oh yeah, those score counts are actually really nice. <laughs> Looking at them on stream. Appreciate it. Our, our team works very hard uh, to ensure the... <laughs> Optimal viewer experience. Yes, looks like BU again trying to take A, and this time NEU putting three men on A. Looks like our. Alright. The Ray's pushing our team out a little bit here. Oh, and actually gets the nade on our omen. Is there. Alright. There's Sova. Seems to be peeking around uh, flank. Who's uh, T? Maybe we'll catch our team off guard here. Whoa! Beautiful blast back from the enemy rays. Catches two of our players unaware, and that's the end of the round. Can't recall if BU saved last round, but uh, I think this should be gun rounds for both teams, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looks like it will be gun rounds for both teams. Oh, actually, NEU opting to do a sort of half buy here with some of their players opting for stingers or uh, ghosts. Very interesting. See if our Elma can take this uh, this peek up here through camp. Don't see anything. It looks like BU is aiming to take B site and capture some mid control along with it. NEU has come up through garage, but BU is able to take the kills. With now BU taking mid control and coming up cat here. Yikes. Killjoy goes down in uh, cat, and BU is coming into A site. Two players left for NEU. Rotating through CT right now, and BU has captured A site. Let's see if they can hold it this time. Spike planted. Like just a little spam for many of you. In the meantime, will they commit to this one? one Looks like abandoned. they will try it. Their breach goes down. Do you find a final frag here? Ooh, our Cypher missing him as he ducks through that garden area. But can he find him this time? No, he cannot. And the Rays finds a surprise pick on him and picks up the Vandal in the process. All right, three rounds in, and NEU has a uh, one-round lead up on BU. And both teams are in a there. position to buy, it seems. I need this. Mm 
my types. Yes, this should do. B again, gonna opt to try and take A here. Omen gets the pick on their A's, and looks like they're going to be entering site as NEU tries to rotate over. There is a Killjoy on site. Let's see if they can get this peak. Looks like he gets that first peak. Unlucky spray with that. But they take the site readily. With NEU only have one player left. What a nice take by BU. Excellent job by uh, Gabriel TM9. Finding the early pick on the op, it really opened up the site for them. And looks like their our cipher will get the last pick here, closing yeah. off the round. Oh, this is a nice spot. This goes here. I must say, these Marciana potatoes are nothing short of amazing. Really? Anyway, back into the game. <laughs> hey, sometimes, sometimes they're good. Ooh, nice mid camp from our Cypher here. But he finds nothing. Looks like BU is opting to take a little bit of mid. Looking towards B as well. Enemy Stova trying to get a pick on one of our players, but cannot find it with the alt. Let's see if BU can find the additional information here to... Get some work done. Looks like BU has full control of mid right now as NEU is pushed back onto site and spawn. And we'll see where BU decides to hit right here. Cage NEU alerted to the location of two players in tree. One of our players picked off there. Looks like NEU is rotating out onto the site as BU tries to take it. Right there. All right, all four players of BU on site, with three players on um, NEU contending. One in Garden right now. And Cypher, Cypher gets the pick. Yep. Cypher also came out earlier, so BU will be well informed on the general locations of NEU for this retake. Finds one pick, and his teammate mops up the last one. Quite a great showing from BU thus far. After losing the first two rounds, it looks like they've built up the momentum to take the game back. Which they really have. However, looking at it, Northeastern is going to have full guns this round. So, we'll see if the Terriers are still able to uh, keep up the pressure. BU opting take B this round, it seems, or also take mid control here. Looks like players are keeping out mid here, trying to gain control of this location. And the B chat creeping up into market, seeing if they can get a pick. Looks like NEU is wise to the ways of BU at the moment. Closing off that window, uh, off that door, and rotating additional players onto the site. Both teams trade. Can they find the momentum to make additional plays? Are you pushing in the site now? Two players from NEU on site. They get one pick and another. Omen mop this one up. No, he cannot. As the killjoy finds a pick on him. Chat showing uh, appreciation for players of both teams there. Love to see it. I see. Wow, the chat is popping at this moment. We just asked you to uh, chat. Out of We asked you to keep the positivity going. We love seeing the love. Oh yeah. I think it's time I take a visit to the Twitch chat. Alright, let's see it. <laughs> Isn't it bopping? A lot of love Do for you... uh, Bossy on Cloud. Oh, it seems so. Yeah. 
<laughs> wow, sure is a lot of love for players from both sides. All right, let's get back into the game here. BU having some control of mid here, trying to put some pressure on the A. Ooh. Looks like they're rotating back now, realizing that the position is weaker. Yeah, that's smart. After losing Falsi in mid to that, uh, the kill joint, it's gonna be hard for them to really take it at A without having control of the, uh, the catwalk area. It looks we'll like see. it's a 2v5 here with a killjoy mid. You see if Stain and Escalar are able to get the job done. Stain with the lineup. I'm going to spot a new one in a heaven. I mean, that will not see anyone. They're surrounded from all sides right now. Let's see what their plans are. If it's just to save, get some frags. 30 yeah, seconds like they've been revealed. I think that is the plan of your Boston University right now. Just... Try to hold this area, mitigate any additional losses, and try to pick up some extra frags as the enemy tries to push you. Timer ticking down, now 14 seconds, and it looks like A team has efficiently flanked. 10 seconds left. Uh, B oh, here. One player, One player goes down. And the rest of the team mops up. Yeah, what? Stain will trade one before he is eventually taken out, so trying to make the most of a uh, sticky situation for BU. Looks like we've got 46 viewers in the stream. <laughs> That's a significant amount of people. Yeah. Hello, chat. We're happy you all are here to join us. Yeah, this, match, watch some good this match, as well as all other C Star League matches, are going to be on the current patch of the game, so. Those breach flashes earlier are the ones that were reverted back. However, if the revert back did not happen, they would have flashed for a real long time. Oh, yeah. Those patches. It seems like breach has gotten a lot of love from the devs, and uh, Cypher's been slightly nerfed, as well as the Killjoy. Would it, be, it would have been interesting to see how that would have changed how uh, both these teams played. Um, I know you mentioned uh, any of you having quite a strong Sentinel game. Yes, that is true. From the performance in our in our tournament this past weekend, they no did seem very comfortable run. using Sentinels to help hold up the site. Like the race is gonna ult, gets one pick, but our cipher remains unscathed for now. Perhaps not for long. Oh, that really feels bad for Fu because I think that whole time the race was aiming for Escalera, but. <laughs> Oh yeah, it happened. And Escalera has to bail out of there as we've got two Huskies taking up tree position. Thirty-six seconds left as the terrorists haven't really been too committed on ang angle yet. Looks like Cypher's gonna try to push up seconds left. the mid market. He's gonna recognize this. He does not get the pick, but the trade happens. Terrorists a little short on time. Twenty seconds. And looks like the race pushes through the smoke and catches a few terriers in it. On to the ninth round of the game. Not a significant lead from either team, but it seems like NEU is building up a little momentum now. Uh, they won the last two rounds, if I recall correctly. If I didn't, that would be quite embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, looking at that, uh, it does seem like they won the last three. Three. Well, guess I can't count. <laughs> Doesn't make it much better. <laughs> now we're always good at math anyways. That's why I'm a computer science major. <laughs> Add the machines to the math for me. Exactly, exactly. Oh, oh. you doing a change? Ooh, two picks already from NEU. Bring it down to 3v5 as he's on a save round here. Or uh, I guess an eco. Yeah. Trying to get some damage. Just their, their omen does not get the pick here. Yeah. Our, uh, their sofa gets the pick, sorry. Our omen does not get the pick. That's a really unfortunate. Gabriel had the angle, but just couldn't. The shot just couldn't make it in time. Oh, those flashes already feel like they last a lifetime. <laughs> yeah. Why Could imagine that any? buff. And now it's down to a 1v5 here with Booby. Trying to do what he can. Whoa. Whoa. Versus the world, and fortunately, the, the world won this time. Yeah, the world won this time, but. 
save round for BU though, so they will have enough credits to purchase a gun and not be completely bankrupt the next round if things don't go their way though. Gabriel opting to use Looks the op again, so he was able to put yeah. good work on those on the three rounds that the Terrors did win, so hopefully we can see a similar performance. Yeah, looks like both omens seeming to be um, their main oppers on both teams. Very interesting to see that. Alright, Carriers try to take A here. A little more quickly this time. Ray's already pushed up, trying to catch the Carriers unaware. It's... BU gets two picks out of the gate, but do they know that their omen is watching that? Ooh, that's really that unfortunate. Did... Had, had the Carriers waited a second extra to push in? Before for the cipher ult to get out, maybe Steam would not have gotten picked there. You should yeah. run. Unfortunate. Uh, one player Excellent wallbang by Falsia. However, he's not going to find the pick onto Red Arm Goon. However, Escalera will have the cleanup. Like he is taking it back this one round after a little bit of a three round streak there. One round at a time in. Yeah. What's big is that Gabriel is able to keep the op from that last round. Certainly an expensive investment. 5,000 credits. You definitely want to keep that gun for as long as you can. And stretch definitely, it out. Definitely. Let's say both teams in a position to buy right now. Their Sova seems to be rocking a pistol. I hope he gets a gun soon. Oh, yep, he does. Yep, going yep. Out. Omen here looking to. No, oh, guess not. Okay. Tripwire catch one coming out of a uh, B garage, so it looks like Omen's going to be looking to uh, see this potential peak. Looks like BU take took med control here. Playing three up cat right now. Turret reveals position. Let's see if Falsia can get this pick on the right side. Does not take it. A series of trades come back in. Oh, wow. Or coming out from Red Arm Goon. The enemy raise. Ah, oh, sorry. That's not a raise. Kill enemy joy. Killjoy. <laughs> really mopping it up here. There must Turning have been some, into, must have been some sort of lapse in uh, the communication coming from BU as Falsia was there in first with two more people. So it, you really hate to see that they weren't able to get the refrag in that situation. Yeah. Looks like that tricky the... position that uh, Killjoy was playing. Oh, he's trying to bait it out with the jump. Oh, no. Wow. Unfortunate. Enemy Killjoy but... getting an inch on that. Last That's unfortunate. Killjoy with the cheeky position. <laughs> yeah, I think Gabe knew that there was a Killjoy playing there, but didn't know exactly where. Yeah, I think he expected it more so towards the uh, the doorway or around that uh, back corner by Wine rather than uh, in the middle of that alleyway. So. Oh yeah. Smart play by Red Arm Goon, choosing uh, for a position like that. Both teams again in the position to buy, and looks like BU is gonna try to contest A again. Looks like NEU is going to be playing with one tree and one on that A main entrance. Four Terriers coming up through the main area. Let's see if Falsia can get this hit. And he indeed does, opening it up for the team. As they try to make it up cat as well. I think they realize that two players are trying to flank them from the B side. There, he's taking it up mid market. Cage Wonder which side they'll take. Ooh. I don't even know where that shot came from. That was from uh, mid. Them. Reese took a uh, pretty deep flank there. Oh, yeah. And now it's a 3v1. Very quick pick from our omen. Getting the enemy omen. And the game's 4 5. We're going to we're gonna ask chat to uh, keep keep the cup of pasta down a little bit. Uh. We love to see the love for the players. Oh god, love to see yeah. the love. Oh my god, can't think of a better word. But uh Not entertaining wow. university. Wow, that's that's brutal to watch your nineteen. That that is that is really brutal. Yeah. His words, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Looks like teams have swapped sides, you know. I forget that happens. Let's see how Escalera plays this. A side here. Where'd he put up his cam? Ah, cool. Uh, looks like he pulled it back, actually. Interesting. Yes. Playing with just a camera, no utility. Camera and ghost. 
Interesting. Very interesting decision. I, I usually with the stat line right now. I think game. that's that could be an appropriate play. Oh, yeah, ten eight. Hot hand right now on the team. Game. Looks like it is. And NEU is taking some mid control, playing one player B and one on A. Not sure exactly what they're planning, but they've taken a lot of the area of the map and they have lots of options. Not sure if Ruby realizes that there's a player behind them. Yeah, it's picked off. As BU tries to rotate here. NEU with a two person advantage. Our omen gets a peek out there with the smoke. See if we can pick up another one. Perhaps not. And you still not planting the bomb. The ray's coming into the site to get it down finally. Very unfortunate. Spike planted. Ooh. Unlucky timing on both. Yeah. First the uh, cypher getting that bot right in his face and then our omen yeah, <laughs> getting that... picked off as he looks back. That raised bomb buddy is just so powerful when used in uh, tight space like that. It really doesn't give you a lot of time to react to shoot it, especially on a pistol round. All right, round 14, and looks like NAU is trying to contest a main right now. Oh, and they're rotating some of their players back over to B. B looking uh, full save with the exception of uh, Gabriel opting to buy that sheriff. Sign in. And you already taken mid control and he is playing a little more passively this time, opting for Huskies to make a play before they engage. Yeah. Falsely unfortunate trying to find what the classic, however, uh, it's just not as good as suspect there, so. He's going to lose that gunfight. Staying finding one on the race. Going to be able to pick up the sheriff. And you again with a two-person advantage as they've taken a sight. And you putting the bomb down. And the Sova Arrow actually finding two players on sight. Now it turns this into 1v4. Let's see if our Sova is going to get any work. However, not going to be unproductive. Interesting play with the uh, the Sova from Northeastern Wamlev. Opted to buy a, a Guardian that second round. However, I do believe he picked up a kill or two with it. So his uh, force ended up being worth it. It's like both teams in a position to buy. Um, any of you looking like they're going to be holding on to their old guns for now. And we'll see how both teams play this out. It's like BU is setting up with two on each site and one playing mid. And you also playing quite spread. Trying to take that mid control, opening themselves up to a lot of options here. They're playing across the map. Two players already push up near the market area from NEU. And looks like we've got three players coming up from A main. Perhaps they're trying to split the A site. One pick from any of you. And that omen tellies on to the other side. Let's see if our omen can catch him unawares. He cannot. That omen getting three kills in rapid succession. As we're left with a 2v4. Omen taking B side already as the rest of the team rotates through CT. Let's see if uh, the terriers have the have this red right. 30 seconds left. Husky's running out of time to get something done and they're taking B site right now pretty rapidly. Cypher knowing that there's people on site. Gets the first pick no and the second as he's jumping around. Excellent picks by Escalera. Being able to stop that plant. And looking for the last. It's just breach yeah, versus here. the world. And is he able to take this fight? He is. Falsy gets the defuse on this one. Excellent job on the refrag coming out from Falsy. Being sure to push together to make sure that they could end up on top. 
taking advantage of those two picks that a splitter found earlier in the round. Yeah, quite good. And their omen was caught completely unaware as he was jumping around the site with his knife out. You again playing two A to uh looks like they'd be they're gonna be doing two B and uh they're omen up mid here. And any you again trying to vie for that A site as well as a little bit of mid control it seems. The game is nine to six or six to nine, depending on the ways you wanna read the numbers. Looks like any you trying to make get something done over here on the A site. We've got four players looking over here. But the U, without enough information, hasn't rotated off yet. Off your feet! And it looks like they're executing, unleashing two ultimates onto the site, taking on Escalera, as BU has to try to play for retake now. Spike planted. getting one frag before getting killed, and it's up to Terrier Sova. I actually used that breach ultimate by uh, by the Huskies there, really, and they were able to really push in after that and capitalize on the two players on site being stunned. And they were able to take the site before the terrorists could rotate back. I'd also like to compliment that raise on that excellent uh, ultimate there. Back of that gen place, uh, really common spot to play. El uh, immediately eliminating the BU Cypher. Stan going to find the Phantom in mid, and he's going to be looking to save it. Trying to hide from the uh, opponent's approach in top of mid right now, smartly. Let's see, will he last these last five seconds? Let's see. Two, one, and he is able to skeeve out of it with the Phantom. All right. Let's take a look at the economy of the team right now. Uh, BU not quite in the buying position, but they may opt to play off of uh, the Sova's Phantom here. NEU with a relatively strong economy. Let's see if BU can get something done, even with their meager resources. I've seen great things happen with less. That is true. That is true. I mean, just that round previously before, where they retook uh, B site. I'm pretty sure they, oh, yeah. were, they that was only a half by falsely finding it. Early pick with with the jet knife. It looks like our terrier is playing aggressive on A there, trying to get some picks. A little bit of information as well. Any of you looking to contest A site here from main? Which is going to be just out of the range of that Sova arrow. However, the Owl Drone will spot him. Smart use of the teleport. However, this is just a little bit too late. Turns it into a 2v4 here. With the with any of you capturing the site quite handily. Breach looking up. Push into the site. Teammate. There looks to be one Husky watching this Heaven Air. So we'll see if we get one pick. Fortunately, Rick will find the one tap. And we'll find the frag. Finds the first one and gets flanked in the round. 11 6 favoring the side of the Huskies right now, and we are put into the. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I can't count. The 18th round. 18th round. 18th round it is. Oh, yeah. You know, these extra picks at the end are really. Is really the Terrier showing that while they may be down, they're not certainly out, right? And they'll help them pick up a little extra eco while also. Making Northeastern expend a little bit more of their resources each round, so... BU still putting up a strong fight here, as they're not ready to give up just yet. No, definitely still in a winnable situation, as NEU doesn't have a massive lead. Looks like, again, NEU playing very spread out across the map, opening a bunch of options. Always Cyber taking that mid control. Push through that smoke, however, he pushes through there, he's gonna get caught up by the raise. Finds one on the raise. It's one pick. The smoke and he's helping us. Ults. Let's see if he can find this pick. He cannot. And it's down to 2v4 again. I spoke too soon. Now it's a 1v3. And let's see if our Sova can get anything done here. Both Sova's engaged in a bit of a battle. As the bomb is being planted, A. And he gets picked off by the enemy killjoy. A little bit of a silver duel there until it's uh, interrupted by Red Armed Goon. 
No, two twelve Sunak. six. Now with um, Northeastern only needing one more round to close it off here. Both teams in a buying position, it seems, and they will all buy up. Yeah. Saved by the Terriers is going to let them be able to full buy here. And Gabriel is going to have the op. So we'll see if he's able to get anything done with it. Like how he was able to on attack. It's like a little more aggressive play here by both teams. You should run. One of them completely stacking on B. Our breach overrun there, and Huskies have B sight as BU tries to rotate back over. Let's play for the retake. Spike, Spike is down, so over here droning to get a little more information, and we have our Cypher here coming through market for its team. Same finding One two with that market. Hunter's Fury. Nice. Funny, and then a and third. another pick. One enemy remaining. Ooh, maybe not so lucky this time. 2v1, perfectly winnable. Does not find it with that spray, and that closes out the first game, 13-6. Yeah, the jet great with the mobility, awesome on, on um, on the off there. Breach and Omen providing both great defensive and off uh, offensive potential. Silva providing really good in intel as well as cipher. And it looks like B will be starting on attack side. Playing one long. Two near A, one mid. One pick, two pick from the enemy jet. As any of you has great control of that A main area. BU forced in the position, a little more back towards spawn, but trying to get something done here at mid. One pick again from the same player. They going to be picking up another one. One enemy remaining. Play with the play, and it looks like that'll close out this round. Two great picks from that jet. Indeed, Snow was able to find two of our members early, pushing in through uh, A, and then finding one later throughout the round. So, really making strong, strong showing from the pistol round from Northeastern. Right here. Terry is looking to full save as some members of Northeastern will buy SMGs. Revealing area. Looks like Terriers are going to be taking an aggressive push through this garage area. Ooh, the Breach mopping up with three kills here. One enemy remaining. That leaves us just with the Cypher here, trying to do what he can. Getting a little bit of information. Unfortunately, Silver hunts him down. We're just a classic. You can't really take uh, three people W keying you down. Uh, that grass area, but a valiant nope. effort. Brings us into the third round of this game. Looks like both teams will be in a valiant position, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, it does seem like that, yes. However, uh, you looking to be quite dry on funds, though. Going for that. Uh, Snow looking to use an op here. So on round three, really looking to maintain this lead for uh, Northeastern. I think that's the smart play from their perspective as... Yes. Try and take as many rounds early as you can before the terrorists can build up any kind of momentum. One kill from that. Two kills already, and it's down to 3v5. Historically, that jet player being very good with the op. Speedy tries to contest A here. Looks like NEU is going to be trying to make their way over to the site. One pick from BU opens up the site, and now NEU only has one person advantage here as they try to take this. Jet does have that off the and she looks like she's gonna be in. We need to have a very popular spot for defenders initial setup. However, Escalar does spot her, but will get picked off. Pick. Not the pick we were looking for as uh, members nope. of <laughs> BU, but definitely the one you want to see if you're back. Yeah. if you're cheering for Northeastern.
spreading the love on the defuse. However, uh, do you know how the mechanics work in terms of granting ult points for the defuse? I that always confuses yeah. me. It's who uh, finishes the defuse gets the ult point. Finish. So, uh, yeah, if you stick it halfway, you're not gonna get it until you complete it. It's whoever completes it, basically. Gotcha. Well, seeing how Snow is already five out of six, makes sense why he let uh, Womlab finish it up. Yeah, I think Sova's ult is a little more valuable than Jet, so a smart play from them. Let's see what's gonna go on here. Any of you opting to take the C long position as BU has pushed all the way through a main here, trying to get something done by stacking it. Looks like they're playing a little slowly as any of you already has an idea of what's going on. They've rotated two more players over. Red and Goon on the other side with an Odin, ready for anyone that comes down short. And it looks like both teams full of Fury is here, minus the enemy jet. Be you getting flanked. Pick from that jet closes the round off. Be you unfortunately not able to find anything that round as they really were just held up in that a long area for such a long time and give the flankers slash lurkers ample time to rotate and catch them off guard. I'd speculate that if they'd taken a little faster, they might have been able to get a few picks if not take that site. Maybe, maybe. That Cypher with the Odin, uh, Red I'm Goon holding a short, made it a little bit hard for them to push a second angle, so just an excellent hold by Northeastern. Revealing area. Looks like you're looking to contest this long area. Two of North Staying greatly contesting the op. However, Cloud will find two in that B cubby, and that's a swift round for Northeastern. Wow, three picks from this mid area, as well as two from that that long area. That omen completely catching two terriers off guard. Northeastern with a early lead at 5 nothing. However, this is nothing that the that B was unfamiliar with. As last week in their match against Stevens, they were down 6-0, map 1. However, proceeded to close out the map and win it. Surprisingly, also Haven. So, no surprise on why they decided to go here for map 2. Are you looking to take mid control or A, it seems? They're playing a little spread out here. Opening as many options as they can. You want to save round here, so they're just trying to do as much damage as they can. Northeastern very aggressive, pushed up to the other end of the map at the moment. Wow, my eyes are down. Let's see if Escalera can find one on the breach. However, the decipher with the Odin is going to rotate the time. Surprisingly, Ooh, the test pick. the Odin with two the classic picks. finds two picks. Excellent and showing by Escalera this, this whole one. night so this far. This could turn the game around. He is going Positions to pick up revealed. that Odin. He's going to hold this angle here. Knowing the direction which they're coming from, a ping to alert him of where he is. Finds the site. Yes, finds the Silva, however, will get traded by the Ooh, jet. Let's see if this... They don't know that our Omen is on this yeah, site. It seems like... Do not know, chat. However, I don't think Omen knows that there is one in Silong. With only 25 seconds left, is he looking for a long wraparound to potentially be? The Jet's in the window. No. Find the pick. And Ooh. unfortunately, Snow will see Unlucky him before timing. he does. Looks like the Jet caught him while he's looking away. That, that round is... almost turned around. Just from an eco. It did. Excellent, excellent work on the eco round. Although they were unable to find the round win, they were able to find a significant number of picks. And I'll put them in a position to full buy with a comfortable amount still left in the bank. Looks like BU will also be able to buy, though with not as comfortable as a cushion to sit on. Looks like NEU looking to play a little more aggressive here, taking some picks Nowhere off site. To run. Nowhere to run. <laughs> That's two ults from with... both teams. Those Silva trying to contest each other, and Silva, sorry, and not Silva, Stain, it looks like he will win the Silva duel. Looks Escalera like we've got with, two picks already. Escalera with the high end, two picks, two more from Falsio. 
And the Terriers rapidly take the site. It seems like NEU is trying to play for retake here. Reach Utah used in that A alley area. Cypher is around the corner if Falsy ever touches the peak. However, that Silver Drone should let him know of his presence. Falsy finds the one tap onto Red Armed Goon. Unfortunate. Not just their omen. They get one pick. Let's see if BU can close this round up. Escalera mops it up. Yeah, They're a good op shot right onto the enemy omen. Escalera so far with the hot hand tonight using the op and will clean up the last pick. Terry is taking their first round, showing that they are not down in this series. like any you switching it up a little here playing two on b i expect their breach to go garage here and they play solo sites here looks like they're they're gonna try to vie for mid control a little um b looking like they have a very similar idea one of their players already pushed up here b not really taking a fight mid Let's see if this could change the tide of the battle Recon Bolt comes out from Southern Northeastern, spotting Gabriel, and smartly chooses to back out as he uses the Omen Flash. Try to pick off one in that grass area. Northeastern with a uh, hold on mid right now, picking off one player. Trade commenced. But can another be had here? Going out. Looks like our Omen is going to have to pick up a new weapon. Running low on ammo at the moment. Not sure if he recognizes that. Yeah, there is that Vandal on the ground. Let's see if he realizes he only has two bullets left in his gun. And he does. Nice. We did it, chat. He... Riveting <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> Truly the, the most difficult of things to decipher. Looks like now BU has regained that mid control. Our Sova here playing for a little information. What player gonna are they going to pull off? 30 seconds here. left. Cypher not having the cam available to scout at the site, so it looks like the Terrors are going to have to go into this with the cages feet. and the Breach ult. Smart usage of the ultimate to try to get control of this site. Staying finding one onto Cloud. However, we'll get picked off by Rake in that uh, in that garage oh, area. Gabriel picking up right on Goon as Rake looks to use left. his own Breach ult. Try to retake the site. Escalera with the ult. Jet will dash right past it. However, one does seem like Gabriel will find the pick. Oh, just right left. But they've lost the round. We're not able to plan in time there. And looks like BU does get that final pick, though it's too late as the round's already ended. They did do a little a bit of economic damage, though. They did, they did. That really is a feels bad, though, for BU, being able to so convincingly take the site like that, but just unable to get the spike down, so. Economically, looks like. Northeastern is going to be a little dry with the exception of Cloud after this round if things don't go their way. And Terry is sitting on a pretty comfortable pile of cash. And credits, excuse me. Not mere cash. They're credits. They are credits. Are you taking mid control very rapidly? Falls to getting an open pick here, but cannot follow it up. Looks like BU is looking to take B. Not quite sure where that tripwire was. Clever placement by Red Arm Goon. Waiting a little bit to plant the bomb. I mean... However, it looks like he will be able to get it down before Jet will keep him again with the op. Jet narrowly missing his toes. And it looks like it's down to a 4v2. Not... Ooh, what and... a shot by Escalera. One left, just the enemy Jet here. See if they're gonna pick up this one or play a little more cautiously. And they've mopped that one up. Love the Twitch chat here. Energy tonight is great. Love the energy. Looks like BU is going to be contesting mid again, or at least at garage area. Yeah. These again with defaults... NEU, playing a little more uh more mid focused mid here. Two on guys. B. Area. That omen pushed up. Yeah, he see if he's gonna catch. Wait up there. Let's see if Stan will see him. And unfortunately, he Ooh. won't. Bu taking quite good mid control here. 
but not get a kill there. Treed comes in. We've got two players stacked up in the garage area. Random will find Fubi. As he opts to use the cypher to secure the round, finding one onto Escalera. Weapon here. I wrap it into that round, putting us in around 11. What a round for Northeastern. Really f finding that open pick onto Stain really helped them secure, uh, secure the round as they were really unable to push much further up C as Stain was the only one there. And also kind of creating a pincer effect, putting pressure on them to WK into sight a little bit faster than they would have liked. Again, be you trying to take me in here? Any of you pushed up quite aggressively now through that A main area. Forcing the cherries back. Stain being extra sure to check that smoke. However, Snow will find the first pick. It's like Huskies have pushed back in the site just a little bit. Giving the Terries a little bit more space to play with now. Falsia creeping up mid. Stain creeping up mid as well. Trying to contest this garage area. Can you find the pick here? Terry is not committing too hard right to here. a specific angle yet. However, Falsia will get picked off in mid as Stain sprays the cypher cage. Lits, lights up the cypher. However, will not find the kill yet. He's very low here. We'll be looking for a duel. However, Reg will come in to uh, Red Arm Goon's rescue. Cypher King will spot out Stain as we're probably looking for a double swing right 30 now. Seconds left. Stain finds one. So I have to take these engagements one at a time. Finds Red Arm Goon as we are in a 2v3. Here's a relative control of the bomb. If you're remembering to pick it up this time, unfortunately, he will get picked off by Wom Lab. And Snow clears it out by dashing through that smoke and catching Sevo unaware. Last round in the half. Brings us to round 12, the last round before both sides swap, bringing us to a 9 2 with NEU leading. NEU again playing two in garage here, focusing down mid. And it looks like BU taking it mid again. Get out of my way! Cypher King coming up to contest mid as they spray that red side of the doorway, proving to be the correct location. However, they will escape before he gets picked out. Smoke coming in as a fast push playing by very BU. aggressively, you know. Enemy ult comes in from that breach, stalling the push a little, as well as stalling that plant. Now we're down to just two players with a bomb down. Falsia finding three, four. Will we see the ace from Falsia this round? Bomb is in, that he is an ace for it. Falsia. An amazing play by an amazing player there. In the indeed, last indeed. round of this. Switching sides. And now BU defending. Let's see uh, what the Huskies pull off on the attack side here. Look at their buys. Again, Escalera with hot hands deciding that he'd rather have a ghost than some utility. Three players going with the ghost, and looks like Omen not buying at all, perhaps saving up for an op. I spoke too soon. Nope. <laughs> He's buying. He's looking to get some frags, buying some up some utility, and buying up that armor. Here. Looks like NEU heavily looking towards that sea long area and their Cypher playing more of a lurk position over at the A site there. Will that arrow catch them? Yukon Bolt pointing out, Yukon Bolt from both sides pointing out the uh, the hold. As is just Stain versus the world right now as he looks to try to just stay alive for the rest of his team to get here. They're unable to do that as the rest of the Terriers come over with Escalera being the only one left on that aggressive push from any you. Can he catch the Cypher unaware? Let's see if you'll go through B. 
Cypher holding the angle. However, if he decides to push up onto B, he will see him. As Flair finding the pick onto the jet. He still does not know. Oh, and that does catch him off. Well, he does know. I I, 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 I hope Red Arm Goon would be alerted if he can't <laughs> yeah, <there>, but... <laughs> Escalera didn't know it hit him. That is true. That is true. Ten to three in this game. So it looks crazy. like... He's gonna have to be in a saving position here. Yeah, Any of you taking Escalera. mid control very aggressively here. Escalera holding this very tight yeah. corner. An aggressive angle. Reach not necessarily knowing what's there. Hopefully his cross replacement will. Unable to get the pick. It looks like NEU is looking to push up through this garage area, open up their options. Great scene. Very blind. Quick way to end the round from NEU with that aggressive push through garage. Terriers with their backs against the wall are looking for a miracle here to try to stay alive in this series. 11 to 3 with NEU having the lead. A little moral victory for the Terriers would be to uh, at least match the amount of rounds that uh, the runner-up to our tournament this past weekend, New York University, was able to put up against Northeastern, being 10 across two games. Terriers just being one way or one round away from this nice moral victory, <laughs> at least. Cypher Cam immediately taken out as NEU takes that mid-control again. Jet looking to push through here. Very coordinated push from that, but Gabe is able to close it out. I spoke too soon. One pick here from Fubi as NEU heads on to C site. 2v3, perfectly winnable. 2v2. What is this guy? NEU very, bomb is not in sight. very rehearsed on that, on that execute. However, it doesn't seem like they have bombs. One enemy remaining. And now one player left. Just one lab. Dangerously low, looking to pull off to A, and I hope Falsia and Fubi recognize this as he's going to get the plant down for free. And there's the plant. Spike plant. Expect him to rotate quite quickly after this one and play together. However, it is going to be just the Sova with, without the ultimate available, so he will have to rely on his shock and recon bolts to uh, clutch the round up possibly. Though we're man up here, still a perfectly winnable situation for the Sova. Well, he sees the barrel of the gun and will find the last pick. Dodging the fault line, and he will be able to get the defuse. Yep. Unless his keyboard breaks, I think this is a safe round for the Terriers. And they'll get this. Oh. Terriers funny? seeing alive and accomplishing that moral victory I joked about earlier, but we're, what? They're not that's not why they're here. They're here for a win. And right now, they have Here. one round of leeway to get nine more. Here. Here. All right. The other caster besides myself, being Joe Kwan, is Donut Deflector, or Philip, the captain of the BU Valorant B team. Hello, great to see everyone out here tonight. 52 viewers, quite a great showing. Oh, looks like any of you already taking a, uh, some contests there, mid, pushing up through that garage area with their our omen here smoked off. Looks like they're going to be taking A as our, si um, our Sova gives them the site, trying to play retake now. Any of you a man up. Falsio with a pick as they get the site. Down. Fakes out that alt. One playing long isn't able to get that pick as the rest of BU tries to get into the site here. Right here. Both teams playing a little cautiously, getting one frag here. There they are. 
Terra's running. Terra's with not much on time. time. Only going to short TP into garage. Unfortunately, and he will find these last two pips. 12 to 4. Match only point. one round more for any of you to close this one up. And it looks like, uh, let's check out the economy of both teams real quick. I believe that, yep. BU not quite in a buying position, but they'll, they're going to opt to buy on this one anyways. Or uh, they risk losing the game without, without good guns. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make most of a tough situation here. Some members going with light shields. North Eastern taking a uh, push through that garage area. As... It's like they really like to play that. Yeah, they do. They've seen very well rehearsed on this push, and it's been working for them. So, if ain't broke, don't fix it. One player in this window. Getting ready push. for the peak. And he does find the first That's hit. One. one more. Will he get another? We'll peek him, and unfortunately, not. Members of the U team uh, shifting Let's over now area. contend with these NEU players. The Cypher holds his position with the Judge. NEU looking to grab that spike. Maybe you can test another site. Their yeah, enemy like... Cypher already on A, knowing that there's nobody on. They might just opt to rotate out completely. I think that's 100% what they're looking to do in this 4v4. Cypher Looks looking like their Cypher the... pushed all the way near the spawn area. Maybe trying to catch some players on the rotate here. 30 seconds left. Seems like no one holding on this piece. I just noticed as Fossey looks to rotate with his gun. He might be able to catch right on the board. And he does. Oh, Fossey recognizes. And it's a 3v4 here. Perfectly situ winnable situation for both teams. Even game from both teams here. One playing short, one taking long. Let's see if they're going to tap this. Falsia does tap it. Getting caught by the breach. However, the smoke will temporarily save his life. Only a Scalera left here. With three players to contend with and is unable to be productive. NEU closes this game up 13-4 on Haven. Unfortunately, that is going to be it for this series. As Northeastern takes it to... Two nothing. Looking at the stat line, seems strong showings from Rake and Snow with Falsia on the side of BU. Unfortunate turnout for the Terriers, but we want to thank you all for joining us on this stream tonight. And that concludes our match of BU Valorant versus Northeastern University. Thank you very much for coming in.